Hello guys, welcome to Cassette Confessions. In this video we're looking at Fam and Sam. Sam's Day Off from 1988. The third Fam and Sam VHS tape. Um, obviously, again, label number number three. Um, we're introduced to the BBC Globe Ident, one of my personal favourite Idents of all time. It is, in fairness, it's strange. The music is interesting. It actually comes from like a Roland D50 synthesizer, if I'm right. D50 or something? Oh, I, suppose D, I say D50. People know what the search anyway. Um, so he uses some patches from there. You have an interesting um, computer graphics, you know, the 3D Globe, which was used mainly in the 80s very much, but this all came into ident in the late 80s until the early 90s, from like 91, I think it's finished there. But briefly, for those releases, it's actually very... I love it. It's, it's strange. It's also a good idea of... Um, the BBC as well as a worldwide thing actually so again musically uh, musically it just sort of fits it nicely it does and also the 3d glow as well I love it I think it's I think it's amazing it is you know just very eerie just it has like power to it it's very 80s as well but it's really fantastic well I, I love that island very much brilliant and so we come to the episode content uh, so first up we got is Sam's Day Off, of course, so in fairness, you know, we're, we may have a couple of episodes to do with Sam taking days off, maybe, maybe what, actually two, I think, in the whole of the original series, actually. I don't, I'm not too sure about the, the latest stuff, I don't, you know, too off our stuff, but at the time, of course, back in the 80s and 90s, of course, I think we had two occasions I had two days off. So, yeah, um, this sort of, it mainly focuses on, well, in terms of, like, um, uh, subject very much. It deals with really like shed fires very much and Sam's trying to build a popcorn machine for Sarah and James who go to Simmer of course which is sort of planned very much. Um, yeah it's a, it's a decent little start to this. You know it's something different of course. Again Sam's not not around so you still have Steele and Quillington to actually take the mantle sometimes. You know actually and again like you, like you see in um, the, the montage, well, let's say the montage sequence, of course, when they head to the emergency very much. Um, it's different because, of course, Clinton's taking the control of Jupiter, and of course, so it's interesting. So, yes. Uh, but a nice season start to this. Next up, we've got is Treasure Hunt. Um, but another interesting one. Uh, the subject for this one, of course, is like do with uh, broken pipes very much. Um, so, that's all right, actually. It's, it's just because, you know, um, Deal with metal, metal, metal detectors, but also lost rings, um, lost jewelry because Bella's lost jewelry, and also trying to de you know, try and you know, they find, you know, find something with a detector, and then it turns out to be a metal pipe. We've seen those many times, of course. So that's all. It's all right. It's a, it's a bit. It is sort of the least favorite out of the video, of course. I mean, you have least favorites, of course. So you stuff like you know, you know, like Trevor's training, and you've also got. Oh, I would say, hmm, I don't know the second one I was trying to think of another one actually, I was thinking... Maybe camping, I don't know, bonfire, it depends on them really. But this is of the le least, uh, of the, you know, that's of the least one out of, the, of this set this of this VHS pretty much. But it's alright, I mean it appeared on a um, ABC compilation in 1998? In Australia, actually, I'm just trying to think of that actually, because you know, a little bit of information for those for VHS fanatics out there, of course. Um, so yeah. Then after we've got Thief and Ponty Pandy. Subject of this one is just basically deal with uh, chimney fires and burn, birds nests, birds nests very much. You know, I I actually had a similar incident maybe a few years ago with a I don't know if it's a pigeon's nest or a magpie nest. I think it might be a ma again maybe a mag or a sparrow's nest or something. But my chimney could be an issue with the log burner, well the wood burner actually. So. And also, if you if anything if anything like that happens, you need to, you need an air rifle to shoot shoot the birds or shoot the bird's nest. Shockingly, yes, but that's how I how how you how I deal with things sometimes. Yeah, just maybe not harm them, just shoot the shoot the bird nest or the chimney that they somehow putting on there for some reason, and don't shoot the bird. Just shoot the shoot the nest. It'll probably plop off. People will probably go mad in the comments section, but 
it's just one of those things really. You know, I think other people tend to do it and you think, yeah, people might be a bit, um, let's see, mixed on that I suppose, a bit polarised or mixed about that, so. Yeah, and, we deal with, and it deals with a magpie, of course. Now, I actually do, there's a weird thing with this, of course. Um, obviously, I have I get occasional birds in my garden now and again, but I actually do have a magpie nest in a big hedge in my, in my garden, I do. So, there's about, there's about four, there's a nest in the bottom, and I always get magpies anyway, so. Hmm, sorry. <coughs> I have an issue with throat, I do. Again, lunch. So, yeah. It's quite, it's quite interesting. I do enjoy that one actually. It's like you know, again, mis again, another missing bird jury watches everything solved gone missing because there's no magpie going around, and it, it's, it deals nicely. It's quite relevant now, of course, because again, you know, with people buying log birds and everything else and attach it to the chimneys, you, you're bound to get a nest up there sometime, and it'll cause a bit of an issue. Mm hmm. Yeah, but it's a decent little one. And then afterwards, we finish with the final one, which is. Uh, Chemistry set. What did I say cassette for? Chemistry set. I do like this one actually because it's um, actually my favourite out of this tape. It is because Norman's messing with his chemistry set. Of course, he's pranking, pranking around, putting stuff in food and everything else, which is quite dangerous. It can be quite dangerous if he's if he's doing you know making stuff like that. You know, like oh, I make this smell smell bad or make it taste bad or may have no taste at all, and you think. That could be quite dangerous, it can be, if you if you actually look back at it now. Um, obviously, got, uh, Phyllis somehow caused, you know, sort of caused a bit of a ru ruckus when Norman, f when she finds Norman make a sink bomb or something like that, and everything just goes off like mad. And, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Also, it deals with, again, this all sort of deals with, like, harmful gases and everything else and chemicals very much, so... You know, it's probably probably worth knowing what that is. Probably worth knowing that one. So yeah, so that's it really. And then we end with the global ident, of course, from eighty-eight to eight to ninety-one. So yeah, so that's all there is with uh, Sam's Day Off number three, Green Edition. And not one. It's not one I tend to look to watch back on when I was younger. Actually, there was a few of us, but this one was probably the least one to I watched. I think, but it is good. It's good overall, decent set of episodes, but it's one I not really tend to look back on. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for the next video, and bye.